What's up guys, James here from Boot Wizard Boot Reviews and today we're going to try to, to my knowledge, do the biggest ever unboxing of football boots on YouTube. Now if you follow my Instagram you will know that recently I got two enormous boxes of football boots arrive. These are boots that have come from my uh, family in the UK, so like my collection that I've not had with me and also boots that I have recently bought on eBay. Sometimes eBay won't ship internationally to Denmark, so I have to get them shipped to family who then send them to me. So here is a little look at what we're going to try and unbox today. So here it is, we've got all these here. Now admittedly we're not going to unbox these because uh, this is going to be my camera stand for the day. Uh, we're not going to unbox these because it's my other camera stand. And then this box contains one or two pairs of boots. So stick around, let me know what you think of the unboxing and also I want you to comment down below one boot that you want to see me play test and one boot that you want to see me review. Any boot that is in this video and the ones that get the most votes I will try and do for you. Let's get in and open up a few boxes. All right, I have a fear that this pile here is gonna fall on top of me. So we're gonna take one off there first. So first up is an Adidas box and it says that it has an F50 Addy Zero on the side. This is an absolute lie. This is not the correct boots for this box. Inside we have a pair of F50 Plus, original F50 Plus. Um, now, <laughs> admittedly, I have had these for quite some time and they are a bit battered. So taking a look at these, you can see that even all the uh, the plastic outer is coming off. Uh, the, the pad through the middle, the lace cover is still in fairly good nick, but on the whole, these are not in a good way at all. Nonetheless, a really classic and uh, quite important boot, I think, to have. So yes, we have F50 Spiders, um, as our first boot on the unboxing. Number one. We're gonna take another one from the top and I know for a fact that this is not the correct box because I do not own any ASICS boots. Opening these up, these are a pair of Under Armour Magnetico Pros, but as you will probably see from the tag here that's attached to this one, these are a sample. So uh, they're actually identical to a pair of Magnetico Pros that um, I used to have. They feel the same, they work the same, there's no difference with them being a sample, um, but they are a sample and I like things that are a bit different. You can even see on the inside here, let's see if I can get it on the other camera, that it shows that these are a sample. They're not for resale. Um, this is clearly a lie. I 100% managed to buy these. Uh, quite recently, actually, to replace my last pair of um, Magnetico Pros, which I wasn't gonna do until I got the Magnetico Pro SL, and I really wanted a pair of Magnetico Pros to uh, do a comparison with, basically, because I was one of those unfortunate people where my previous pair somewhat exploded. Um, so I have this pair, they are special. They are special boots because they're so different and there's nothing else with an upper like this. All right, next up, let's see what is in. The big box. All right, first boots out. Let's go for these ones. So I'll give you a quick look at the string bag there. See if any of you can work out what these are before I open them. So they are CR7 boots, of course, and they are a pair of Mercurial Vapor Galaxies. Another boot that I think is kind of important, especially in terms of CR7 colorways, just because it's so revered. So the problem that I have with these is I picked these up for next to no money at all. Um, 
from some kind of sale, car boot sale, something like that. And these are, I, I paid next to nothing for them. However, um, with that, these are not my size, which isn't something I normally do. Every single boot I own is pretty much in my size. Uh, so these are actually a UK six. And then the sole plate, uh, these are not in particularly good shape. I am missing one of the heel studs. Um, so there's only one out of two remaining. Um, and then somebody's clearly been wearing these uh, around the car park trying to get to games because all the other heel studs are cracked and broken and going to come off. Uh, so these are simply a collector's piece, a boot I like to have that's not in particularly good shape. Uh, but hey, I do have CR7 Galaxies. Uh, back to the big box. So big box, uh, these, 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 because these ones I think are horribly underrated as important football boots. So let's get them out. Uh, these are the Puma Evo Power One. And I think that these are a fantastic boot. They're a little bit on the wide side, so if you did have particularly wide feet, uh, narrow feet, sorry, these were probably not for you, but that Adapt Light Synthetic was super flexible, formed to the shape of your foot, and then you had this sole plate that actually was designed to bend in the wrong direction. So it was actually designed to flex this way because Puma had done some research and basically shown that in order to get the most power in your shot, the boot had to flex in this direction as well as this direction to get maximum force, um, which is pretty cool. And honestly, I think that this gets overlooked a lot as a boot that produced a lightweight boot that was built around power. And um, it's one of the only boots to have done that. And I think something that we miss, lightweight, innovative, power boots um, and an excellent boot in my opinion. You can still pick these up for very cheap from ProDirect and I highly recommend it. They're definitely worth looking at. If you are enjoying the uh, unboxing obscene amount of boots and ramble about them then do remember to like this video and get subscribed to the channel as well um, because I, I can do this more. This is lots of fun. Um, so next up we're sticking with Puma again out of the big box. And if you watched any of my coverage of the Women's World Cup when I was there, I literally dubbed these boots the ugly Puma boots because I really hate these um, in terms of a colorway. I'm not a fan of this digi camo bright green look um, in the Puma ones. Um, these are obviously the synthetic version and it's really easy to spot because the synthetic one has the pattern that runs all the way through the toe box, whereas the leather one was just a straight up green toe box. Um, on the whole, I don't like these in terms of color, but I wanted this particular boot in my collection because I kind of am developing a bit of a soft spot for Puma and what they do. I think they've been putting out some fantastic boots and it's getting to a point where they're kind of underrated. Um, so I got these because they were cheap. These were so cheap. I think I paid less than 15 pounds for these, uh, brand new, no box, but recent purchase, thank you eBay. Next up is a pair of boots I'm not actually going to show you. These are the boots that I purchased for a competition that I am having with Skiller FC. So if you are on Instagram, you should follow Skiller FC. He is a fantastic Finnish football player, in insane skills, great videos, also very funny. Um, and him and I are having a competition. And that competition is to see who can buy the best possible pair of football boots for 20 pounds or less. This is what I got. He has no idea what I got. I don't know what he got. But we're gonna put a video together and basically reveal the best boots we both bought for 20 pounds. You guys are gonna vote for the winner. Um, so here's a little tease. And uh, Skiller, if you're looking, if you're watching, you are going down, my man. So we have another boot here from the big box that is also not in great condition and it is my Total 90 Laser 3s. Um, a boot that I think has not stood the test of time well. Uh, the, <laughs> the upper doesn't feel great, 
The striking element is insane and bulky and just gets in the way of the boot. Um, honestly, I think as a comparison to what you got from, say, for example, the remake of the, uh, the Laser 1 that came out recently, these do not deserve a remake as much as those. I'm not a fan. Although I do like the sole plate, which is pretty cool, um, which is this carbon fiber sole plate. Um, again, this is a boot that has been through the wars. It's missing a stud. These are basically worth no money, but um, I quite like that I have them in the collection because why not? Laser Force. Threes, threes, laser threes. Hmm. Let's switch it up and go back to the stack. So, this is quite a large box, and it's a larger box because I know there's at least two pairs of boots in here. So, uh, aha, I know what's in here. So, one of these boots uh, didn't actually come in the big package, the big collection uh, video. I bought these off a seller on Instagram who will now pop up on the screen, like so. Um, I got a really good deal on them, um, and there's a reason that I bought them. So, let's get this box open. So first off in the box, we have a pair of Lotto Zero Gravity 4s. This is practically the only colorway I have ever seen the Zero Gravity 4 in. Um, it's a pair of boots that I want because I am, for some reason, developed somewhat of a, a desire to own all of the laceless Lotto models. Um, so I've got 4s here. I should have ones very, very soon. I obviously have the new Solista Gravities. Um, then they're, they're not even great football boots. Uh, the ones might even be the best of the bunch. Uh, but yeah, I got a great price on a pair of uh, brand new Zero Gravity 4s. And here they are for you to enjoy. Although I feel like I'm the only person who's enjoying these boots right now. And at the absolute other end of the spectrum in this box, I have my pair of Nike Mercurial Superfly 7 Elites in the limited edition CR7 Schwai colorway. Um, not actually a boot that came in the boxes either, uh, but one that is in here. So let's unbox it and give you a look. It's probably one of my least favorite Mercurial colors so far, along with uh, the Singles Day. Didn't like that at all and I'm also not a fan of that brand new Hyper Crimson one. Um, I feel like since the launch the Mercurial colorways have kind of gone downhill a little bit but um, I still think these are great boots. I'm a big fan. So uh, yes, those are my uh, my Mercurials, the ones I wear. I have another identical box up here so let's get that one out, why not? So again, two, two pairs of boots in here. Um, one pair, just a pair that I think is cool to have, and the other pair, one of my all-time favorite football boots. So let's get this open, and in here, we'll start with the ones that I think are just cool to have. I have a pair of Battle Pack Predator Instincts. So a boot that gets a bit of flack for not being fantastic, but I don't think necessarily deserved. Um, it's not leather, it's got that um, hyper-touch synthetic, um, but I think a decent pair of boots, still got the rubber striking elements, and uh, the battle pack from the World Cup I think is pretty iconic. Um, so I'm a huge fan of owning these, and of course, stripes that go over to the bottom of the boot, nothing wrong with that. Um, big fan of having these battle pack um, instincts, and uh, yes, predator number one in the collection. Well, in this video. Also in the box, which we'll get out of the way, is one of my all-time favorite boots in an absolutely disgusting colorway. Um, the colorway is so gross that it's even called slime. One of the best sole plates to be ever put on a football boot, in my opinion. This sole plate on this boot. So this is the Adi Power Predator, but it is the SL model. So this is the non-leather upper version that had the that was basically lighter, SL Super Light. Um, and honestly, it's not really the upper that I'm really into or I really, really enjoy. It's actually the sole plate. The sole plate itself, I think, is phenomenal. Um, the way that the studs are organized, the traction, the spring back, how stiff the midsole is, the support you get. Um, I think that the sole plate on this is 
amazing. And the sole plate on the Addy Power in general is one of the best ever from Adidas. And I genuinely think you could take it off this, well, off the, the original Addy Power, slap it onto a current generation Predator, and it would be no worse off for it. It would be a really great addition. Um, so the Addy Power, I'm going to say something controversial. This might be one of my top two performing Predators of all time. The other one being another underrated or forgotten Predator, um, the Power Swerve. I think these are both incredible performing boots that do not get enough recognition, basically, um, because of the Predator line not really being where people wanted it to be after the X. The X is the problem. If you like the X, you're the problem. But Addy Powers, incredible boots. Okay, back to the big box. We have another pair of Puma Ones. These ones right here. And as you can tell, these are bright and shiny and new and never ever worn and too small for me. This is because these belong to our last giveaway winner. So if you remember, um, my last giveaway was for a pair of these. And I announced the winner and I contacted the winner and I spoke to them and they haven't confirmed an address or where they want the boots or if they want the boots. So I currently have a pair of UK size six and a half Predator Ones. Um, if you have an idea about what I should do with these, if the winner doesn't take them, then let me know because I don't know if I can give them away a second time because I only have one size now, I've bought them. Um, so yes, Puma, one, Puma Ones in a size UK six and a half. Here they are. Next up, another pair of boots that I'm not gonna show you, uh, mainly because I'm gonna make a video on these and I want you to get involved, have a guess down below. What do you think these are if I tell you that they are the most limited boot that's in my collection? So obviously boots are sometimes released in 1,000, 200, 400, 2,000 pairs. These are the most limited boots that I own in my whole collection. So, censored, what do you think these are? Oh, sticking with the big box, another pair that didn't actually get sent to me recently. I organized the box and must have put some other boots in there. These, Adidas X 19.1s. Um, as you can tell by the state of these, uh, these have been pretty well used. It's only recently I've kind of stopped uh, using them quite so much. Uh, but yeah, I actually really enjoy these boots and I use them quite a lot. Uh, but um, yes, 19.1s, X's, if you want to see the full review, click up in the corner. It's not, not a big story. They're a pair of X 19.1s. They're good boots. Check them out. We will go back to the big boxes. And here we have a New Balance box. And it's a New Balance box that actually has the correct boots in it. This is a really great looking and really limited pair of New Balance Furon V5s. Uh, so I've just done a review of the V6. Again, you can check that out. Click up in the corner there. Um, but these are the, um, I always wanna say uh, light, no, I always wanna say infinite light and they're actually light shift. These are the light shift pack New Balance Furon V5s. Uh, these were limited, these were list there. I can't talk. I'll try again. So these light shift pack New Balance Furons are limited to 1,079 pairs. That's all that was made uh, because they're based on the speed of light, 1,079, it all ties in and makes sense. I think they look fantastic. Um, and it also means that I have two pairs of Furon V5s, uh, one being limited to um, 1,079 pairs, my other pair being my Mane pair, which is limited to 405. So I'm doing well on the limited edition New Balance boots. My favorite thing about these boots is the sole plate. This is one of the best looking sole plates of 2019, no questions at all. It is a matte fade from a red chrome into a matte like midnight blue chrome and it looks amazing. Um, it's basically the reason that I bought the boots, to be honest, because it, the, the sole plate just looks that good. Um, they still have the tag on. I haven't actually worn this pair. Um, what can you do? 
don't want to, I don't want to ruin the sole plate. I, I use nearly all of my boots. And um, as you see, as I'm getting these out, they're all used in some way or another. These have not been used um, because I don't want to chip the sole plate. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Let's delve back into the big box. We are getting towards the end here. We have these now. If you um, have followed football boots for any length of time, you'll probably know exactly what's in here just based on the colors. So in here we have my Hypervenom Phantom 3s. Um, a really fantastic uh, football boot. I was one of the people who was slightly disappointed when the uh, Phantom, uh, the Hypervenom line was killed off um, in favor of the Phantom Vision. I like the Phantom Vision a lot. But I did go back out and play in these recently um, and I might be on the bandwagon that I prefer the Hypervenom 3, which would mean I prefer the Hypervenom 1 and the Hypervenom 3 over the current Phantom Venom. Um, but this is a close call. Uh, these are just a mad, mad colorway. Um, I have them again. You can see a theme here. I have this colorway because this colorway was the cheapest colorway to buy. Um, so you know what you're going to do. Um, although I have worn these sufficiently that they're about to go all Jack Grealish on me and uh, basically become my lucky boots because that top Nike skin coating uh, with the ACC is basically peeling away. Uh, this is not a sign of a boot that is faulty or anything like that. It's just a boot that has been used a lot. Um, I have no complaints at all. Uh, same with Jack Grealish's boot. It wasn't a faulty boot. It wasn't a sign of poor workmanship by Nike simply just a boot that has been used a ridiculous amount. But yes, Hypervenom Phantom 3. Fantastic boot, big fan of these. Okay, so we're down to, to kind of three pairs of boots in five boxes. You'll find out why in a second. So we're gonna start with the most comedy boots of the bunch, which come in this string bag and they're boots from Concave. Now, again, I recently did a review of a pair of Concave boots, the brand new Halo Plus. And I was very complimentary about the presentation, about the boots, and about the advancements that Concave had made. And the reason I was so complimentary is because their comparison um, and their history comes from this. These are the uh, Concave PT Plus, um, and they are awful. <laughs> Um, these are some of the worst boots that you're ever likely to put on your feet. Um, obviously, they have this enormous concave section. It's where the name comes from. It's what they're known for. And it's basically just intrusive. It's so ridiculous. Look at, look at this. Like the amount of just material that's on here with this super hard section where you're supposed to strike the ball. Um, this was, and still is, a terrible, terrible idea. Um, it's also very heavy. Like, admittedly, this was made some time ago, but the weight, you can feel it straight away. It's also incredibly stiff. Um, this is not a good football boot. However, it is an excellent football boot if you're a collector of football boots and you want to have something a bit special and a bit different. Um, yes, I have concave PT pluses because why not? All right, last set of boots from the big box. Uh, they are from Adidas and they are messy boots. So here we go in the string bag. Let's get them out. So these are the messy pure agility football boots. Um, a boot that I actually quite like, um, especially because of the outsole. Um, I know I praised the Adi Power outsole earlier, but of more recent times, of more modern outsoles, I am a huge fan of the messy specific outsole. Um, I'm very sad that it's kind of been done away with on the brand new Nemesis. It gives you great traction. The sole plate itself is nice and flexy in like the right areas. I think that of everything that's out at the moment, the messy specific stud pattern on the sprint frame is better than all of it. I've said it and I'm sticking with it. I think there were definitely better colorways of this. Uh, the blue and pink springs to mind and a friend of mine, Yuli, he really likes the bronze color. There's some really awesome versions of this out there. I quite like this boot and um, yeah, it's in my collection, mainly because I need a boot with this messy outsole just to remind me how great it is on a regular basis. 
but that leaves us with one pair of boots and three boxes. Let's find out why. I have to stand up to get these. Here we go. So this is just gonna take a second because these are all beautifully packaged and wrapped because they are my Adidas Glitch, which I got very recently. Um, now, the Glitch as a concept um, is quite fantastic, or at least I think it is. Uh, the boots themselves maybe don't live up to uh, the concept itself. So I'm just gonna get these out and then I'll run you through exactly what a glitch is and why it comes in so many boxes. Um, and if you want to check out a full review of these before I do one, then head over to YJ Football's page uh, because Yaz at YJ Football has recently done a review on these um, and it covers most of the bases. Because this is taking a while, I don't want to put you off my glitch, but Yaz has much cooler skins uh, for his than I do. Okay, so I finally got the glitch out of the box. That took an awful lot of effort. And the way the glitch works, to give you a really quick run through, is that in the glitch, you get inners and outers. And the inner, is this section here and basically what you do is you take this and you apply it to an outer so you can not only change the look of your boot but also the stud the stud pattern or the ground type for each for each type of skin so this is a aura skin it says so on the back and it's basically nothing but a plasticky outer shell with firm ground stud patterns and then I take the tech fit four way stretch inner and I slide it into the boot. And then I have a pair of boots that I can actually go out and use. Um, so I have this skin, which is the pink with a firm ground stud pattern on it. Uh, then I have this one, which is another aura skin, but it's in a different color. So that's uh, the navy white pink fade, uh, also in a firm ground stud pattern. And then I have this black one here, which is a mirage skin. They all have little numbers as well, which is in a SG stud pattern. So you could literally switch between FG and SG using the same pair of boots is the idea. Um, it's not a boot concept that I think has been executed to its full potential because of the standard of the boot, but the idea is fantastic. You needed an app for this. You had to be specially invited. It's very cool, um, but did it really live up to what it could have been? Probably not. And Adidas have now killed the glitch. You can no longer buy the glitch unless you go secondhand. There's a few places that you can do that. Again, check out Yaz's uh, video on these in order to be able to see where to get these because he got his from a specific reseller. So I've made a mess. There is boots absolutely everywhere around the place now. Um, but I think unless somebody can prove me wrong and then I'll have to do another video, that could be the biggest unboxing of football boots ever undertaken on YouTube. I hope. Remember to comment the boot that you want to see me unbox and review on the channel in full and the boot you want to see me play test down, down below. So that is all from Boot Wizard here today. If you enjoyed this, you want to see more of this, then do smash the like button. Get subscribed to get all of my other content. You can click generally around my face to find some of my more recent content. But that is all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you have a good day. We will see you soon.